it's annoying. Hey, you want to come over to my house tonight? Charlie's supposed to come over, but I don't think he'd mind if you hung out for a little bit. I would rather not. I'll just stay at my own house. You're always at your house alone. You're like a loner. I like being alone. It's comfortable. I get the whole situation of last summer, Marie, but you can't let it stop you from being human. It's not that easy. Whatever. I'll see you on Monday. You know what? Maybe I do need to go out, like Jess said. seen me. I can just leave. Maybe next time I'll actually leave my car. <laughs> hey, I didn't know you were coming. We could have rode together. I didn't know I was coming until about a half hour ago. <laughs> well, glad you're here. Let's go. <laughs> Marie, right? Yeah, that's me. It's pretty cool you were able to put together this party in just a few hours. Well, my parents are on vacation in San Francisco, so I figured, why not? Yeah. <laughs> so, you were there for the summer, right? Cool, that must have been fun. I guess. Do you want to go inside? Yeah. Oh, you want something to drink? No, thank you. Okay. So, I used to think you were a stuck up bit person, but now I gotta wonder, why quit softball? I mean, you just quit and went AWOL in San Fran. Why though? It's kind of a long story, but I could ask you why you leave 8th hour 20 minutes early. People notice. Yeah, I figured someone would. I'm not as smart as my teachers make me out to be. But you're Landon, 4.0 GPA, captain of the baseball team. Everyone loves you. You're getting a full ride to college. Well, I guess everyone has a little secret. It's not a big deal, but I will admit, I'm just like the rest of you. I struggle in classes, and I have a tutor to help me. It was my parents' idea. So, I told you my big dark secret, why don't you tell me your long story? It's not that big of a deal, either. In middle school, I started to experience a lot of dizziness while doing those little sprint things. Oh, yeah, the pacer tests. Yeah, those. So I went to the doctor, and he told me that when I go from something calm to something like a sprint, my heart gets all wacky. Last ball season, I was playing and felt like I was having a panic attack from nerves. I tried to calm down, but it wouldn't stop. 
So I went back to the doctor and they told me about this new procedure to fix problems like mine. So I dropped softball and went to San Francisco with my parents and got the procedure. So you're okay now, right? Yeah, I'm perfectly fine. I still have to take some anxiety meds, but it's nothing life-threatening. So why don't you tell people that? Like I told you, it's not that big of a deal. Why bring it up? Marie! Marie! <laughs> Wait up. I just wanted to say it was nice to actually speak to you. I feel like we've known each other forever, but we don't really know each other. Tell me about future bonfires or parties and I'll bring Jess. I will, but we could also hang out sometime other than at one of my parties. <sighs> hey, bro, can you come here for a sec? Yeah. Oh, and Marie, everyone's got something to hide. You're just better at hiding it. <laughs> <laughs> 